my Halloween tutorial for Harley Quinn. Um, I have been talking about doing this for a really long time. This wig is being kind of weird like that. It's not supposed to be there. Um, but I've been wanting to do this tutorial for the longest time. Ever since I saw Suicide Squad I was like, yes, this needs to be, this is it. This is what I'm doing. Um, obviously, you'll see in the video, I'm going to hit a couple of snafus. I wasn't paying attention and put rotten on this side. By the way, I didn't do this part. My sister did it. Say hi, Sydney. Hi. Sydney did, had to do that because I could not make myself right backwards. Um, so Sydney had to do that one. I did kind of glam, kind of, kind of movie-esque. I did the scratch that's like on her forehead. Um, in the movie, I don't have my hair in pigtails because this wig won't, I, I could probably do it, but for like when I go out, I probably, I'm going to have to figure out how to do it because you can still kind of see my natural hair. Um, never wore a wig before. Just glad that I figured it out this far. But I really hope you guys think this look is cool. I'm really in, I'm really into it. I'm digging it a lot. Like, it looks awesome. I gave Harley some lashes. Glammed her out a little bit. Um, so if y'all are interested in how I got this look, please keep on watching. All right, to get this look started, um, I'm going to be putting my hair up into this wig cap, and I'm going to start off with my favorite Smashbox Photo Finish Primer. This is like the original primer. I know my camera's kind of blurry, but what I do is I just start out putting that all over my face, um, starting from the center and kind of working my way out with it. Now I am taking a sample of the lightest foundation I could find from work. I think this was... Um, Light 42 from the Kat Von D collection. I'm not a huge fan of that foundation on a normal day because it's so thick and it's so heavy, but for costume makeup, it worked perfectly. Um, I'm using my, oh, I'm not sure what this brush is called, but I'll put it in the description bar or I'll put it on the screen for you guys, but it's my favorite big fluffy Morphe uh, foundation brush. Um, the one that Jaclyn Hill uses all the time. And I'm making sure I am putting this down onto my neck and onto my ears so that everything blends really nicely together. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Cream Concealer in the shade Light Neutral number 5. And I'm just using that to cover up kind of some of the dark circles under my eyes. Harley doesn't really have any contouring going on, but I'm just using this to highlight features of the face and blending that out with a damp beauty blender. I'm going to go ahead and make a note. The legs you see in the background are my sister's. Um, she wanted to watch me do this makeup. But I'm just powdering my face, just saying the whole thing, making sure it won't move throughout the night. Um, Harley's brows are kind of sparse and not very, like, bold. I don't know what word I'm trying to look for, but they're not really, like, extreme. So I'm just putting some of my gimme brow into the natural hairs in my brow. Okay, so now for the shadow, I could have done without putting this white all over my entire lid. My thought behind it was that it would make the colors pop a lot more, but actually it just ended up making the shadow look a little pink instead of red. 
Um, the palette I ended up using for this, I kind of jumped around. I was just going to use one um, because when I went to Walmart, Wet n Wild had a like Halloween palette out that had red, white, and blue and black in it, which were all colors I needed for Harley. Um, but it wasn't, it, obviously it wasn't that great. I love some of Wet n Wild stuff. Their eyeshadows aren't my favorite. Um, you'll see me here in a moment go back over some of the red with the Mania Makeup Geek um, palette color in Mars to kind of darken it up a little bit to make it less pink and more like vibrant to make it stand out a lot. Um, I went back and forth between using my crease brush and my fingers and a stippling eyeshadow blending brush. So what you're seeing here is me taking a um, Urban Decay 24-7 eye uh, sharpenable eyeliner in the shade Perversion and blending that out onto my bottom lash line to kind of just give some definition against that red. Yes, that is a Harley Quinn angled liner brush. I found it at Walgreens. They have like Batgirl or Catwoman and there's another one and it's they're so cute. One of my managers at work actually sent me a link to it and I already had the Harley Quinn one so I was laughing hysterically. I actually really like the brushes. They're not as soft as some of my brushes obviously because they're from Walgreens but they were they were nice and I just thought well you know I'm doing a Harley Quinn look I might as well use my Harley Quinn brushes and they're the standard old school red and black. Um, so now what I'm doing is just curling my eyelashes uh, and putting on some of my x-rated um, Smashbox mascara. I didn't put on a ton because obviously I was putting on falsies after all this is said and done. Now the falsies I'm using are the Sephora and House of Lashes collab and they're called Seductress. They're very bold, they're very dramatic, which is why I liked them so much. Um, this honestly might be the tattoo I end up getting because I put them up against my wrist because they were in the clear container and they looked so good. Alright, so for this step, please disregard what I'm doing on my face right now. I ended up having to take that heart off and put it on the opposite side of my face as well as what I'm doing right now. This wasn't making sense in my brain while I was doing it, but it's backwards and it's on the wrong side. So the more I sat there and looked at it, the more I thought, I am stupid, why did I do that? And later on you'll see Sydney comes on camera and actually does it for me. So if you are recreating this look, I would say get somebody else to write rotten on your face for you because it's really hard to write it backwards. Um, but the lipstick I'm using and smudging out, this hurt my soul to do, but the lipstick I'm using is the Urban Decay Vice Lipstick in the shade 714. Um, now what I am doing is kind of creating that scratch that Harley has in some of the pictures above her eyebrow. And I'm just using um, liquid latex and building it up a little bit to kind of create the illusion of uh, broken skin. And then I put some of my foundation over top of it later on. There's a little clip of Sydney dancing. I don't know why. But yeah, that's what it looks like after it dries and some of my powder and foundation are already over it to kind of blend it in. We were just singing and dancing for a moment. Time to dance break. Now I'm just putting some costume uh, blood into the crevice, I suppose, of the wound that I created. And I'm just using a Q-tip to do that. I went a little bit too ham with this. This is not what it looks like in the movie. Um, I drew it out a little bit more and smudged it out a little bit more, mainly because I was trying not to get it in my wig. <laughs> um, but now you see Sydney. It's a little dark, so I grabbed my uh, phone and used, yep, the flashlight, so you can kind of see it a little bit better. Um, this is Sydney uh, creating the rotten tattoo on my cheek because I, I did this look, I wore this look out, counting this time at least three or four other times, and... <laughs> Doing it by myself gave myself a headache, trying to look in a mirror and write it backwards, and it didn't look as good as when somebody else does it for me. Plus, my handwriting sucks when I write normally, so trying to write backwards just made it atrocious, so it was better for her to do it anyway. The heart, obviously, it switched sides too, because when I looked in all of the pictures of Harley, I noticed that everything was flipped. 
So I just had to take everything I put on the blue side and put it on the red side, which wasn't a big deal. Um, luckily, I didn't pay attention to this either, but I'm glad it worked out this way. All the red, including in the hair, was on the right side, and all of the blue was on the right side as well. But that's basically it. This was a very, very simple look. Finish it off with some all-nighter setting spray, and you are golden. You can glam this up as much or as little as you want. I really hope you all enjoyed this video, and I will see you all in a moment. for this tutorial um i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i had a lot of fun doing this it was a struggle for a little while obviously y'all just saw my sister had to come in and do this side i couldn't i just i couldn't i couldn't flip it it started out on this side i took it off and did on this side but yeah i will list all the products i use in the description bar below um if you notice some snafus with my wig i apologize this is literally the first time i've ever had a wig on um and i don't I don't know exactly what I'm doing with it still, but um, I will be posting pictures of this throughout the rest of October probably, but um, I hope you all enjoyed it. I am also wearing my Daddy's Little Monster shirt. Um, now, when I wear this out, <laughs> I'm not about the booty short life. I ain't going to do that to myself. I'm not going to do that to anybody else. Um, so I'm not going to wear that out in public. I actually made a, like, one of these, like, old tulle skirts, like, that you tie tulle to and, like, put it on an elastic band and wrap it around your waist. That's what I'm doing. Um, I'll probably draw Harley's tattoos on my legs and then put the fishnets on over top of them. <laughs> For the face makeup you guys can add more like gore type stuff to it by adding some more scratches or more like dirt to her face I know in some of the pictures she looked a little dirty but I just want to do like the simple like simple Harley that I kept seeing in all the pictures minus like I just threw in the scar like the scratch here just because I thought it looked kind of cool made car made Carly made Carly hey Carly um, made Harley look a little bit more BA kind of made me feel kind of like mm. Don't laugh at me. Alright, but that is it, you guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!